There have been a lot of amazing TikToks in 2023, but these are the best ones that I've seen this year. Bosh. Wow. <laughs> you said it. Oh no, a mistletoe. I'm your sister! <laughs> <laughs> it's still a mistletoe, the rules are the rules. <laughs> you are live on Facebook now with 2,000 people watching you, including other hunting teams. <laughs> Can you believe he just Sorry. did that? Sorry. No, Can no, you no, not no, believe no, he just no. did Hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I just like things like this to train my for you page to give me more of it. I don't actually watch the TikToks like this. I just think it's funny when they come up. I watch like five seconds of them, press like, and then move on. What the fuck? <laughs> Creamination. Subscribe to the channel if you are part of the, the, the Creamination, the hashtag Creamination. Did you have to check this nonsense of Osman? Osman! It's a pigeon. Bro, I'm gonna call the police here. <laughs> <laughs> He's so calm. He acts like he sees this all the time. Like this guy just comes in every day and throws a pigeon at him. He's like, man, can't, can't, not again. Did you know? Yes. <laughs> You're sexy. I need to go out. So, chat later. Bye. All right, mate. Cheers. Yes, shag later. Oh, he's got the grippers out as well. <laughs> this one, <laughs> I just like this one because <laughs> it caught me so off guard. <laughs> oh, you got to put some swaz on it, Gromit. Beans. Is this like a costume he found at a shop or did he make this himself? Obviously, I feel as though he made it himself, but he got the... Okay, so all right, so he put a bowl cap on, made the nose and the ears. Top beans! Wonderful. And I remember <laughs> seeing the comment. The top comment on this is like, I, I know this is on me, but let's just say it's... <laughs> Just the most George M. style video ever. It's like this video was specifically engineered to appear in one of these videos. Millennial? Um, actually, I'm a Ravenclaw. <laughs> <laughs> Why do some Disney characters walk on two feet when they should be walking on four? Make the workers crawl. <laughs> Make them crawl. Put them on the ground. Make them crawl on the ground where they belong. I'm gonna chug. I'm now, parents, gonna... beware. If you let your children watch YouTube Kids, I was shocked when this video popped up while my two-year-old was watching. I'm gonna <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, long live YouTube kids. If you're under 5'8 as a man and you're not putting in the work, you're gonna get dominated by taller and more handsome men. <laughs> Promise? <laughs> what do you mean putting in the work, by the way? If I'm not putting, what do you mean? Hey, knock back to his box. If not, Mr. Tic Tac, get, get, get back in his box. Tic Tac better get back in his box. Tic Tac better be getting knocked back to Afghan his box. Afghan Dan is unironically a, a good rapper. Honestly, he's a good rapper. What'd you say his name was? Okay. Say it. No. no. You said Ben Salami. Ben Salami. Ben Salami? His name's Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> ben Salami. Have you ever gotten a Snapchat from a girl? No. Send call. Pichu. Deli Bird. Handu. That's fucking impressive, man. That is so impressive. Those <laughs> people are so lucky. No school, no job. Just hang out with some of your friends. Just good vibes. Yeah, I'm so envious. You say cheese. On today's episode of Catching Peter Files, today we've caught, today we've caught Mike, and he's sitting here waiting to meet a fine girl. What have you got to say about Mike? Nice. <laughs> I mean, he takes it quite well. That's like one of my worst fears, like someone just coming up to me and being like, is this you, mate? Have you been talking to some fucking 14 year old? Not that I have. Not that I have. She's, I've seen a few of them where they like get the wrong person and they're like live streaming it. So the video is like immortalized and this poor bastard is just known as a nonce now. Mm. It's always so funny. Like, they just look so goofy. Like, if they weren't on the scooter, they'd probably look quite scary, but they're just on this little scooter whizzing around. <laughs> it's so whimsical. Look how fat this girl's ass is. Oh, he looks so happy. I wasn't. Whoa. No, <laughs> he was jubilant. He was jubilant. He just wanted to see some. <laughs> look at him. Look how happy he is. You can't ruin his happiness like that. What? Oh, no. Elf 
This new lad is definitely the future of road bowling. Five years old and amazing already. What are the rules of road bowling? And I remember this day because all the comments are like, reminds me of a young par floods. A pale shadow of... The child Par Flood was. Who the fuck is Par Flood? Seeing traces of Par Flood's technique in the throw. We'll watch progress with interest. He is zero on Par Flood. He's five. Right, road bowls in Ireland. This is a whole account. Is Par Flood like the, the Lionel Messi of Irish road bowling? Player plays over the corner. Only experienced Christ. bowlers will attempt this. You have to be like the Kevin De Bruyne of road bowling to attempt that. Hold in my hand. Wait, 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 wait a second, guys. Eamon Bowen beats Wayne Callanan. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No one beats Wayne Callanan. Settled in my hand. <laughs> wait, this is, a, this is a big fan base, bro, bowling. No par floods. <laughs> Who the fuck is Paul Floods? Do you like him and don't like him? There's nothing you could do about him because he's number one. <laughs> We're discussing like the prodigy like of Paul Floods with the boys. A force to be reckoned with on the ro bowling roads. Are we actually gonna, am I actually going to see a clip of him throwing? Bloody hell, Paul Floods. That is arguably the greatest road bowl I've seen in my life. He looked like he was about to hit the gritty. <laughs> you know what? It, I, I, this looks quite fun. I would be down for a game of road bowling if, if any, if any of you are. Yoda, I have a question. Ask a question. You should answer. I will. Yes or no. Do you support racism? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bad Yoda. That's not a good thing. If I'm a chav, yeah, then what are you? Because what are you? Some sort of like aesthetic fucking mate bracelets, girl. Huh? I wonder what this is in response to. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, the thing is, right, I thought I was the only one that got overstimulated in Primark. The worst one for me is Bershka. Fuck that place. And I thought I was just like, I don't know, a bit on the spectrum or something. But apparently loads of people have this. But I'm glad to see other people despise shops like Primark as much as me. Like I come out of there feeling like I've been extracted from war. What do you call a woman that weighs only 0.0353 ounces? I'm not sure, mate. What do you, what do you call I'll tell you. Okay, thanks. Her name is Anna Graham. Now, the reason that's funny uh -huh. is because 0.0353 ounces equals a gram. Ah, oh, right, gotcha. And she's a woman, she's called Anna. Yeah. So you put Anna Graham together, that also makes a word, so it's a bonus laugh. Yeah. So, so there you go, really. Yeah. Um, I hope she doesn't really weigh 0.0353 ounces, because uh, she'd be very anemic. Yeah, she would be, wouldn't she? So ladies, if you're going on a diet, I wouldn't recommend her one, because um, that's very unhealthy. Well, cheers, Cecil, for the joke. Customer hit me up. This is bad. Is it bad I laughed at this? It's not... Is it bad I laughed at this? Like, they've got the Mr. Beast font on the casket. Right, guys. Would you like to do an interview on Mosh? <laughs> <laughs> I would sue the nightclub. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. The anxiety the day after must have been atrocious for these people. You think every liberal, liberal Democrat should take home a migrant to show their support for the open Jojo. Jojo. Why would you ask Jojo to see what that? <laughs> Begin audio prompt in three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Blue God's meal. Prime is sleeping, Prime is sleeping in his little bed. Well, it's nice to see you've tucked in all your Prime, mate. I hope they have sweet dreams. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor little guy. Look how terrified he is. His ears are all the way back. Oh, my ears petrified. Poor little guy. <laughs> oh, poor guy. I've never seen such fear in a cat's eyes. Ah. You may notice a lot of a lot of my TikToks are just cats. They're just magical creatures, aren't they? Looks like they got you doing the easy work. Huh? <laughs> I just got out of a 250-hour <laughs> 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 
Oh, bless him. He thinks there's just giant cats out there. Oh, I love these nice cat of the week. Elijah has opened up and showed staff how much he loves belly rubs. Oh, well done, Elijah. Naughty cat of the week. Popsicle. Stole treats from Daniel, his blind roommate. Nice-ish cat of the week. Callow has been tolerant of his recent office mates, including two very active kittens. Naughty cat of the week. Tango is not tolerant. Frankly, a little rude towards her new senior roommates. Bad Tango. Nice cat of the week. Lumen has done an impressive job with harness training and let the staff clip her nails with zero trauma. Well done, Luna. Naughty cat of the week. Bo has been pulling other cats in the senior room when they tried to eat food aggression at his finest. Ah, oh, when Dobby went outside for the first time. Oh, oh, bless Dobby. What a lovely cat. Oh, another cat. Good Wednesday morning, TikTok. Oh, we are blessed today, aren't we, chaps? So many cats. It's a beautiful morning so far. I hope everybody's day is getting That's the dream. Good. Just chilling in your truck with a load of cats. <laughs> They're trying their best. They're trying their best to make good music. I traveled all the way to Wakayama Prefecture to meet the cutest station masters in Japan. Oh. Meet Tamatsu and Tama 4, yes. the feline station masters of the Wakayama Electric Railway. You can find them hard oh, at work. I love cats in Japan. I, I, I don't know. I loved it there. I've still got that video coming out soon, where like my vlog from it. I went there like three months ago. Man, there's so many cats there, like little cat cafes. Oh, it's unbelievable. That's some... An astounding gritty variation. I've been working on my new clothing brand. Let me know what you guys think of the name. Uh, <laughs> it's Rap Trap Money. Money band it's bad. Here's another design. Uh, let me know. Let me know if I should drop. Uh, <laughs> this may be an unpopular opinion, especially maybe in the UK, but I find Trap Star the cringiest fucking brand ever. That and like that. There's Hood Rich. Them two brands are just like, every time I see someone out wearing them, it's just cringy. I just find it so cringe. A guy is like young 20s. Uh -huh. And if he has time yep. to take you on dates a few times a week. <laughs> Say it, finish it. Then he's not going anywhere in life. Yes, yes! Why are you cheering that? That... <laughs> Well, it's just not true, is it? It's just not true. All right, thanks for paying your rent this month. Go ahead and sign here. It's just going to ask you a couple of questions. A tip? I'm not tipping my landlord. So you'll tip a barista who pours overpriced coffee into a cup, but not the guy who's on call 24-7 well to said, make mate. sure you well have a said. safe home. I'm not tipping you. This isn't a restaurant. Okay, so you'll tip an extra 25% for somebody to carry <laughs> wait, your gas. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. 25% on like, and not, also who the fuck tips 25%? Even in America, you don't tip 25%. It's like 20%. But that's, I mean, it's a bit different for like a, a $15 meal or whatever. But for like, I don't know, like two grand in rent, 15 to 20% is quite a lot. But you won't tip someone who responds for after hours emergency calls? I, uh... Yep. Well, I guess when it's time for your lease renewal, I'm gonna make sure gratuity is included in your rent. You know, I was gonna try and make fun of this, but I, 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 I can't. I just wanna fucking slide tackle him the studs up. <laughs> oh, that is, that is nice, isn't it? That is nice. Ah, oh, top class. Asking me and I'll put you in a chat. And I'm begging, begging you. <laughs> Fellas, you've got to stop taking these rhino boner pills. You have to stop <laughs> taking the jab. Oh my god, oh my god. I know why I like this. When I was, okay, I'm going to throw up a, a picture and a video like, while I'm talking. When I was in New York, I saw these fucking pills. I saw them. I couldn't believe they were real. I thought they were like dodgy things you saw on like Pornhub ads. But no, they're not just that. They're like real things that are sold in real stores. There was even like this one, which was like one of them fucking like holographic Doctor Who cards. I was almost tempted to buy one just to see if it would work. This one's taking way too far. For real, bro. Like... That's my turn. You need to <laughs> <laughs> this is my own private domicile and I will not be harassed. That is, Bitch. it's an absolutely this elite way to eat matchmakers. There is no other way to eat matchmakers other than like a little beaver. When people say that they were weird as a child, but when I was nine, I literally ran to my room and cried with my parents and we were replacing our car because I loved our family car so much. I, I regret to say I did the same. I remember <laughs> on BBM, you know, you can update your status and when you updated your status, it would put it on like... It was like, it was sort of like the Facebook wall back in the day. So I updated my status being like, my dad got a new car for fuck's sake. And it obviously just looked like I was showing up, but I genuinely wasn't. I was genuinely distraught. Fuck some shy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like 10 years old, man. What? Shy stuff. <laughs> Why are they dressed like that? <laughs>
That is that is me when I, I watched Top Boy once. Hamster. Or the fish. Oh, but I remember this. this is like, uh, you know them, like, would you rather accounts for this one's German, apparently. I don't know. It could just be taking the piss. I don't speak German, so I don't know. Oder mit Brechstange geschlagen werden. <laughs> 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 Average London accommodation. That's unbelievable. I wonder how much they were charging for that. I know I just set off flashbacks in so many people watching this video. Oh God, I, I ne I've never even worked at McDonald's and that sets off something in me. It's such like a horrible grating sound. I don't know how people that work at McDonald's can put up with that 24 seven. Well, not 24 seven, they're working 24 hours a day. But while they're at work, what, like eight hours a day? Why'd they put this shitty design on their workshop? <laughs> okay, there's potato, there's chili, here's a corn. Here's the other half of the corn. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I would think that look good. I mean, they look very sweet. The vegetables look very sweet and they look very kind. But who would think that would look good? You see, this is... This is one of the reasons why I just, I, I would absolutely reject working for a company. But I will live off the dole before I do a bad romance, confidence building, teamwork challenge. Guys, I'm pulling an all nighter. <laughs> I was supposed to go to sleep five hours ago. <laughs> what, fucking, what kind of insane, deranged child pulls an all nighter so they can watch Nigel Farage? That sounds like literally the worst all nighter ever. Warning to all guys okay. do not trade sexy pictures with women. Oh. They will blackmail you. What? They will ask you for money. Huh? If you don't give them the money, they will show those pictures to your family, to your friends, what? to your wife, girlfriend, whoever. Okay? They will blackmail you. Do not what? share sexy pictures. All gamers need one of these. In my house, I have a room called the relaxation room. <laughs> I normally go into this room after I've had a tough game of Fortnite or I'm getting angry at any game and it helps me calm down. I usually put stuff in here that are quite calming, like an oil okay. diffuser and like a few guitars. So instead of keep raging, take yeah. a break for at least. Guys, just go into that spare room that we all have that we could just use <laughs> that we could just use for our gamer rage. And if you don't have one, just ask your parents to like put a put a divide in their room. Room. Build a wall in the middle of their room. Do you have a room where you can calm down from your Fortnite elves? Yes. Yo, bro, do you want beef? Mom will take out your two front teeth. I am a bomb. I'll whack by you'll be gone. Syria, fuck that shit. Think you sick cause you got a new kit. BG media, that's what I do. Sing man pee when I will slay you. Look, look, she got those raw raw titties. Bitch got a batty like my girl oh, It's, it's so... This is it's so iconic. It's just so iconic. Can't wait to be old. I'm gonna go to diners alone and to make young people sad. I might even put a picture of my still alive wife to really get those tears rolling. <laughs> he fucking killed it. He fucking killed it. What are the comments saying? They better not be being mean to him. He <laughs> fatty wap commented. Tar we and tongue grown up on us. Alright, alright. Oh yeah. Incredible. I'd just like to imagine Jamie Oliver making this slideshow of himself. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Let's have some I didn't even know Jamie Oliver had a DS game. Was it just like Cooking Mama, but boring? Is it ethical to want to buy a painting from the man who tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan? I got two! <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> they do go kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie. A slight issue. You posted it from your fucking account. <laughs> okay, Imagine I'm being so self-obsessed. You posted it on top like that. About his oh my god. Oh. 
I honestly, I know people get really mad when people suggest this, but there should be like adult only flights, like 13 plus flights. So I feel as though from that age onwards, you're not really gonna be screaming and shouting on a plane, you know? Because honestly, children are a fucking nuisance, aren't they? It, like, especially when you're stuck on a plane for what, like 10 hours sometimes. I was stuck on a 40, no, ended up being like 16 hours I was on a plane and there was a kid in front of me screaming the entire fucking time. And I remember I tweeted about it and some people were like, I don't even think about mothers, fuck off. Okay. It irritated me, and that's what matters. Fergie, I'm 23. I'm normally an ice cream shop manager, but in the villa, I'm gonna be Sunset Sweetheart. Oh my god, for a second I thought this was like a parody. No, this is from actual Love Island USA. Jeez. He has like negative aura. Oh! What, what did Colin do? What is your biggest red flag in a boy? Um, the thing is, is, the thing is, is when they, yep, go um, like, carry their tray out from supper. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, right, when they carry their tray up from supper. If you call dinner supper, you automatically revoke your right to be wearing a Reebok tracky top. People that call dinner supper should have to wear full suits and a big sign around their neck saying, I have a trust fund. They go and put it down and it's so shit. <laughs> I don't know what it is about people with that that specific voice, like the oh yeah 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 yeah. When he picks up his tray after he's done with his supper, I, I'm probably awful at doing that accent, but there's something about it that just that irks something within me. Something something fucking primal, like the anger of a thousand suns has awoken within me. See, the thing is, right, I don't think I've ever had a TikTok with half a million likes, but this guy, he just turned on his phone, breathed a bit while looking at his phone, and he got half a million likes on TikTok. Okay, I, I can't say it's not deserved, though. Hiya, you're all right. Where have you come from? What's the best shopping, Wakey? POV, you are, we you, you, you just slept with the Wakey Wines, Wakey Wines. Abdul, come closer. Abdul, go back. Bingo, bingo. Galo, bingo. God, I love miss this video. I love imagining waking up to next to Mr. Wakey Wines. Did you know? Yes. No, <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Not gonna lie, that looks really cozy. That looks really snuggly. But like, I fucking hate sitting like like this, like how I am right now, just like like this. I I hate sitting like this. I can't do flights that are longer than like five or six hours like this. I need to have somewhere to put my feet up. I was today years old when I found out that it's Kurt Cobain and not Kurt Cobain. <sighs> <laughs> I was two years old when I found out that it's Kurt. Oh my god, man, are you alright? That looks serious. <laughs> Just for no reason. Just felt like it. <laughs> that again. I mean, fair enough. Why not? Wait, wait, wait. Who's gonna stop him? He's gonna do it again? Go for a triple kill, UAV? There we go. So effortlessly. He makes it look so easy. When the Joker takes over the other side of my brain, it's absolute torture. Mental torture, I tell you. I'm gonna show you what exactly happens. I wanna see this. I wanna see this more than anything. <laughs> no, no. Got to fight it. Got to take back the draw. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm the one riding the wheel for now. <laughs> well, that was excellent. That was simply excellent. Thank you for sharing. We need to normalise giving people a good shag as a Christmas present, right? Really glad I've seen this now because I was struggling with ideas for what to get my nan. <laughs> <laughs> Hot five tips on how to clot a teacher. <laughs> 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 Number one, just bend her and hit it that once from the back. Just go to her classroom and just hit her once from the back. Two, just grab her number. <laughs> yeah, miss. Yeah, miss. Can I get your number, please? Can I get your number? We'll go, we'll go to Creams. Get, get a nice dessert together. Four, you need to be fat like me. Like, you need a munch. You need to be a little bit chubby. If she's then, be a teacher's pet. <laughs> a fag. Drink pram. That will give you maximum XP. <laughs> like, that will help you. Excellent advice, my friend. Being out of hands these days. I've had enough of this. This punishment stuff is going to stop. 
You're not going to tell me what I'm going to do and not do? I am now the alpha. <laughs> That's not how this works. I am the teacher. The alpha takes priority over the teacher. <laughs> the alpha takes priority over everything. <laughs> Teacher is telling the alpha to sit in his seat right now. And the alpha doesn't have to listen. Most intelligent Andrew Tate fan. I posted a tweet the other day and loads of Andrew Tate fans got annoyed. So I tweeted this, huge day for 14 year olds and Aiden Ross. I thought that was a very funny tweet about Andrew Tate getting released. And there were some like absolute brainlets in the replies and quotes. Ironic considering your content. No idea what that means. <laughs> Someone quote tweeted on my tweet saying, send me pics of your tattoos, I'll write them for a video now, do it now. This you, melt- <laughs> What is that called? <laughs> That's the worst this you ever. LGBTQ pedophiles spelt wrong are mad. I mean, he's literally accused of being a sex trafficker, mate. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you have less testosterone than a worm. Do better. <laughs> he's got, he got hench Stewie Griffin as a profile picture. Less testosterone than a worm. Get a grip. Says the soy cuck who won't show his face. Sick. All right. ha 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 You don't even have the balls to show your face. Neither do you. What do you mean? You got... <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Really, you're from Essex. I would have never guessed. Also, what, what are you into? Women. Goodest ends in your London borough. Goodest ends. Goodest ends. Hey, let me translate that for you people in the back. Best area in your London borough. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's Fort Park tidal wave antics. Tonight, walls and crew. Yes, I'm coming after you. How does this even come about? How did <laughs> How does this come to be? Like a kid emceeing advertising your barbershop. How does that come to be? You ready for the baseline? Go and hit a bar. You ready to it again? I'm reading your kid. <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, but I'm sold into going to loco barbers. Oh my god, I love these videos so much just because they- Okay, so people try them in America where they go out to people and go, oh, Can you buy me food, please? And because Americans are typically quite nice, they'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, of course. But they're trying it over here in England and everyone's just going piss off. You can buy this meal deal. No, if you've got a mobile phone, bag <laughs> If you can afford a mobile phone, <laughs> you can afford to buy that. <laughs> Understand? Yeah. <laughs> my favorite thing about this particular account is that when someone does buy a meal deal, like in America, they will like give him, I don't know, a thousand dollars or something for their generosity. But over here, this guy just gives them a tenner. That's like, <laughs> that's like five pound more than the meal deal costs. This isn't exactly like a great reward for their kindness or whatever. <laughs> Oh my god, this was incredible. Okay, so I saw this the other day. POV, you were obsessed with writing in 2012 for four years. Okay, I can kind of understand. Actually, I don't really understand it, to be honest. But I can kind of understand, like, I guess, um, stan culture with certain, I guess, I don't know, pop stars or something. But Rylan? Really? But anyway, she messages his friend saying, like, happy birthday and stuff. But then when you get to the end, it's like, got a life-size cutout for Christmas. Actually, to be fair, that's not that weird. Uh, why is Matthew Bean falling over? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I didn't realise he fell over. But yeah, I've got, I've got Matthew Bean back there. Beanie boy in the back. <laughs> we got stuff like bought his jumper off eBay, collected every magazine with him in, learned how to write his signature, wished him good night every night, went to Lakeside Shopping Center because it's where he used to work and drove to his house for your 13th birthday. That is weird. It's weird that your parents allowed you to do that, just like go to some bloke's house. Now, I feel as though this shouldn't need to be said, but don't go to random famous people's houses. That's just, no. How do you even find his address? That's awesome. I had that book. Awesome. I love that book. Awesome. Absolutely. I love how there's just so many shared experiences between people. Like, this has 210,000 likes. Most people had that book, the Egyptology book. The person that made the Egyptology book must be fucking breaded by now. <laughs> oh, yes. Culture. You're culturally, culturally enriching your child by showing them... These videos, they're terrible. They were terrible. How did anyone watch these? Montage parodies were a trend for like a year, maybe even two years. How did that last so long? What? This makes me want to go <laughs> go to a club in India. What's your e-body count? Uh, e-body count? E-body count? 64. 64. <laughs> I didn't know it was the freaking noob hour. 64? <laughs> This guy's an amateur. I'm reading the cheeseburger from the menu out of. T I can't be the only one thinking 
Can I have cheeseburgers, please? Mmm, cheeseburgers. <laughs> I am reading the cheeseburger. That's not what it was about the fucking noise he made at the end. So I wasn't laughing till the end. Here in my lobby. Don't say bad words. You ass bitch. Mom, mom, <laughs> um, watch her language. Oh my gosh. Such a dumb ass. Uh, didn't even speak this thing. Get off my dick. I said, watch your language. Watch your language, yeah. An excellent TikTok from our boy Danny Aaron. <laughs> Beta male versus alpha male pays taxes. Zero Ghanaian leapfrog slaughterhouses. Zero skins on Fortnite. Never committed mass genocide. Hasn't visited Kazakhstan versus alpha male. Commits tax fraud. Frequently tips landlords. Learned Tanzanian throat singing. Convinces single mothers of four to invest in the Roblox stock. Amazing. I love that someone's made one of these about me. I feel honored. <laughs> Subscribe if you're a real alpha male. If you're not subscribed to this channel after that, I don't know what to tell you. You are a beta male. Yum. Not. I woke up in a yeah, I fucking hate those chariot things. That's fucking awful. I hate them. My client wanted to do an in studio Oh, I remember that this one is absolutely abysmal. I hate this TikTok. Well, not even this TikTok, just this idea. Why would you want that? Well, I think, you know the ones where they're like in the sky or like just even on a white background? I find them so cringy. But this is a new level. This is, this is a crime. <sighs> Don't add the R oh, and a round of applause sound effect over that. It's terrible. Here with. Uh, my name is Benjamin Clitheroe, and I have a quote for you from Socrates. Okay. Uh, if you want to be happy, you'll find a good woman. But if you don't, uh, you'll become a philosopher and find a bad one. That is, I'm not even joking, out of all 47 videos, that is the best one I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> what a guy. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is just a long video of them staring. <laughs> oh okay, I... I think Dream is cringe. I know this may come as no surprise to people that regularly watch my videos, but I believe Dream to be a very cringe individual. And I know I made a few videos with him years ago for e-boys and that, but man, is he cringe. I'm a travel addict on the road to recovery. Just kidding, I'm at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful video. I'm I'm glad to hear you're enjoying your travels. Dick A30 is no longer friends with typical gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when people put out like influencer news that nobody fucking cares about. What country from? Jamaica. Hey, say that. What you get boys alive. And what country you from? <laughs> Jamaica. Eee, say now what? You get boys, <laughs> <laughs> That sense I got that's my head. His videos are so shit. And I'll, I'll show you one for an example. I know I said we're gonna be taking a look at the best TikToks ever in this video, but we're making a little exception here, a little deviation. Hi. So what's your name? Shania. Jeez, you're out shopping a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, he, all he does is go up to people and go, yeah, 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 what's your type? What's your type? And I swear that's just all UK street interviews at the moment. Just people go up to people and go, ah, what's your, what's your type in boys? What's your type in girls? Like, come on, ask some more hard hitting questions. If you live in or around Blythe, you're going to want to hear this. I don't live in Blythe, but uh, we, I live in Iceland. Um, we heard you were a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, true, true. You heard correctly. You are not the most popular or memorable person to have ever lived on this planet. But who is? I would be if I ate the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I don't know how you how you thought of that. But yeah, you would be, you would be quite memorable if you did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the exact demographic you expect to be at an XL bully rally, isn't it? I mean, it's fucking on brand, though, isn't it? <laughs> The statue of Gangnam Style. I have nothing what? else left. Okay, I know I've liked this TikTok, but I, I forgot about this because this was like a month ago. I like this. They have a Gangnam Style statue. Man, that's sick. If someone were to cheat on me, what would you do? Play badminton. Excellent. <laughs> he just loves playing badminton. You see a man like me, bro. I'll wait in a chicken shop, like, until the fresh wings are done, cuz. Man said 15 minutes. Why are you in the chicken shop with no shoes on? Mate! What? Well, you just getting nice and cozy in the chicken shop. <laughs> Barefoot in Brixton Hill. 
<laughs> bare backing the floor is crazy. Man took his socks and shoes off like he's at home. This is how I can play Fortnite for so long without going to the bathroom. I call this the Fortnite battle bucket. It has <laughs> the two battle holes, bucket. One for going number one and another for going number two. That's absolutely genius. You should patent that idea. I'm gonna fuck if you're in the factory. That's it, look, because you don't get what? satisfaction. Still that. But I get like what? Top 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 Honestly, top. right. I think Smithy Boy and the crew is probably the most iconic video ever made. There's so much about it. I want to make, a, I made a video about it like, what, seven years ago? I want to make another one about it just because I want to, I want to analyze it more. Because there is so much going on in that video. It's it's unbelievable. Like, there's this fucking 25-year-old man hanging around with a load of 12-year-olds. And, like, he's passing him cigarettes and stuff. Oh, it's, it is art. It is art. <laughs> yeah! Listen. Penguins! <laughs> that's, that's definitely not as funny as I think it is. Listen. Penguins! <laughs> I hopped on the 11-11 to Prittlewell. To go and watch my beloved Altrigger MC <laughs> take on South End. After a couple of beers and a boozer, I was ready to watch. Thanks to a referee who was clearly blind and possibly also a monster. <laughs> at half time, it was 2-1 them. I then enjoyed some delicious scran, a burger, and this pie which fell out of my hand. I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but that is, it, that's an unreal TikTok. I love that TikTok. Probably one of the best ones I've watched this week. Open up. Yes, thank you, Daddy. Okay. This is just to cleanse you a little bit after that last video. Look at him, he's got his arm around the... Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? Big difference from the last one. Show me again. What's this? Bolton. It's Bolton. Yeah, Bolton. <laughs> These videos are obviously jokes, right? They're obvious jokes as well. But I, I've always wondered if like people fall for these, like people from outside the UK, because there's no way someone outside the UK knows what Bolton is like, unless they've been there. Like, there's no way of this poor guy knowing that this was a joke. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's so confused. He was so prepared to go to go on holiday to Bolton. <laughs> And those are some, yeah, those are wank Jaffa cakes as well. Those aren't even like the good ones. Fruit. Seven dollars. Seven dollars for fruit gums. Who's buying this shit? Ten for a chocolate orange. You're insane if you pay that. Oh, that's going to be like fifteen dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for one of the small boxes of quality street. You're joking. Who's paying that? Oh. <laughs> it's in my likes, but I totally, I totally forgot how this video went. Let's watch that. That's a transition and a half. Excuse me, Hello, random. Do you guys have a hidden talent that you've never shown anyone before? I'm all right at freestyling. Freestyling, all right. right? I'll need to freestyle and you guys watch it. You it's going to be terrible, isn't it? It's going to be awful. That's don't? why it's in my liked. All right, let's go, let's go. Whenever you're ready. Yo, I can't wait to be out of this country. Can't wait to be out of the trap. <laughs> can't wait to be with my ting. Yeah. Smoking a Cali pack. Hey. This life is long and bare and a fake. But one day I'll be out of this country, living my life like Drake. Hey, all right, all right. Only he's like like twelve. I can't knock him that badly. <laughs> but I don't know. It's just so funny to me. Like twelve year olds rapping about trapping. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that is like, if I was a woman and I saw like a guy doing that, that would give me the ick. Just in a pool like that, like, oh, you're like a, you're like a big six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> no, proper lad's holiday, that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Who, who designed that statue? Oh. POV fight viewing for you and the girlies, and this is what's on offer. <laughs> Just a guy on the sofa. <laughs> Can they like usher him out? That's fucking vile. Why would they? Why would you? Uh, 
Why would they even bother showing you around or like taking a video and showing you it? Like at that point, if a house looks like that, you are not going for it. There's absolutely no way. There's no way you're taking something that's in that state. Excuse me. Yeah. Could you help me? Yeah, are you stuck in there? No. Well, can you hold my phone so I can make a video real quick? Okay. Thank you so much. Oh. I just You're not going to cause damage to any of this, are no, you? No, not at all. I already pushed record and it's ready to go. Yo, what up, dog? You ain't no what the hell, dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> the instant refusal to continue recording. I don't know why it was that point that made this woman not want to record. Not the fact that she's hiding in soil, but the fact that she started singing Hound Dog. Right, I'm just going to play this clip out because it is astounding. city of peace and justice. You can play or you can pass this to Adam if you're not sure. Not very big on my uh, geography, <laughs> but I think because I think Adam knows it, it's worth a guess. So Dutch cities, I think... That is, there's Belgium. Belgium! Belgium! Are the two I'm thinking of. So I'm gonna go for Belgium. All right, so what's the guy gonna go for now? Surely he's got he's got the correct answer, or at least one that's pretty close. Okay. Adam. Geneva? Mm. I said Geneva. Oh. Okay. Yeah. British people love to be like Americans are stupid, but Honestly, I think we're on par with how stupid the Americans are. English people are just a lot more stubborn to admit it. You'll never be shit. Well, you know what? I'm gonna become a famous rapper now. I love it when it, that's always like a story that loads of like like music like rappers and like other people. I, I hear a lot of YouTubers say it sometimes. No teacher ever told you you couldn't be shit. No teacher ever said that. That'd be the worst thing a teacher. Well, not the worst thing a teacher could ever do, fucking hell. But that could be a bad thing for a teacher to do. Like no teachers do that. Hi, buddy. Hi, Kim. You wanna go for a ride? Sure, I can. Jump in. <laughs> the advertising. This has to be the best advertising for a curry house ever. Like you go on the account. What's it's all that, just stuff MTV? like this. this it's is so guy. good. Welcome to my urban tandoor. If I was in Bristol, the first place I'd go would be Urban Tandoor. Because if their food is half as good as their TikToks, I'll be in for a treat. When I wake up. Well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be <laughs> Never one from the great Sir Urban Tandor. And when I go out, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who orders Sagaloo. But I would walk 500 miles. And I would walk 500 more. Just to be the man who walked 1,000 miles to get Urban Tandor. Incredible. Thinking about driving after you've been drinking or doing drugs? Think again. <laughs> I want to know if that is a legitimate offender, if that is a man they've actually pulled over, or if they've just like asked a random member of the public or hired an actor for that. Either way, it goes hard. <laughs> Why would you do this? Like, genuinely, like, why would you do this? It looks, it's just scary. Wow, your thing fucking stinks today, doesn't it? <laughs> I think daddy needs to put a little cream inside, eh? I got, the thing is, right, I've got to admire this guy's confidence. Because in all his videos, he's just going around in public, shouting the most embarrassing shit possible. Got to hand it to him. I, I respect you, X, Y level. Here's some names you can call your friends to undermine their authority. Number one, Billy Pajamas. Number two, Professor Mayer. <laughs> number three, oh. Professor Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Matt. I don't know about you, but that seems like a name of endearment if I was called Professor Matt. <laughs> Whoever's trying to outbid me on this book, <laughs> conundrums and riddles of the 1800s, you will not win. I am sillier than you. <laughs> I wonder what the book of conundrums and riddles from the 1800s contains. <laughs> All you girls want a prison boyfriend still eat. No, I don't think 
many girls want a prison boyfriend. Who goes, mm, yes, I want a boyfriend that is going to be away for the next fucking 10 years for murder. Yes, that sounds simply delightful. So he starts getting paranoid and getting people to follow and watch you when you go on nights out. He's in prison. He went to prison for doing bad things. But I don't know. I just don't think it's that shocking when the person who got sent away, got put in isolation from society from doing, for doing bad things, ends up doing more bad things. What are the comments saying? I love prison wife and girlfriend TikTok. It's my favorite place on TikTok. Why on earth can't I get a boyfriend but people like this can? I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think you want a, I don't think you want a boyfriend like this. <laughs> Look at the fear in his eyes. <laughs> the absolute horror on his face. Not only would he not pay for the fucking bill, every time I try to push the bill towards him, he would bend his fingers backwards trying to push it towards me. And then I asked him to pay me back. No, and he my... sent me a fucking screenshot. Didn't even pay me. That's my guy. That's my guy. Stop wasting your time and start going to the movies alone. Honestly, going to the going to go to the cinema alone is a top tier activity. I love I love doing shit on my own. Like a year ago, I used to hate it, but I love it now. Like when I went to America a couple weeks ago, I basically spent ninety percent of my time on my own, like on purpose by choice. It's just sick because you can just like do what you want when you want. Make Sanchez four Sanchez into enough saves today. His son Jilly is here. Oh, that's me all over. As soon as someone's cracking a carling, I'm up like a like a shot. Actual first moments walking into the family guide bar in Osaka. <laughs> 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 it's just gonna cut and sleep on the sofa. <laughs> this, <laughs> this guy! Oh, I love it. It will not leave my For You page. Edits of this man will not leave my For You page. It's like Binley Mega Chippy all over again. I'd say like two out of three TikToks I scroll through at the moment are to do with this man. It's to do with this man. <laughs> I mean, there's probably a reason. It's because I like everyone I see. Oh, it's, it's getting me in the spirit, it is. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Again? All right. Yeah, we, I mean, we, we, we know we know what we were expecting. Oh, man. 2009 was so iconic. I don't know what it was about the summers of, like, 2009, 2010. It's probably because, like, that's when I was old enough to have my independence and go out and, like, go to the park and that. But I was still young enough, so I had, like, I guess I had imagination or whatever. Oh, man. Like, picking random berries in the forest. You never eat them, though. I never eat them. I just pick them. Ah, oh, that, that brings back a memory for some reason. Like, chopped up fish fingers and ketchup. Man. And that sound, that sound. I have an alarm clock that plays that sound now. <laughs> Matt, the life bus, the life bus was so iconic. Harold the giraffe, what a G Harold the giraffe was. He taught us about all sorts of things like the body and stuff. What do you mean by that? He was so happy with the Roblox gift card until he saw what the kid next to him got. <laughs> hey, he doesn't even see that gas. He does not even see that gas. He's just got a PS5. Look, he's just, He doesn't even see that gas. Oh, for real, we out here dripping, you feel me? Fucking you know what I'm hell. saying? Galaxy down, you know what I'm saying? Y'all not, y'all not, y'all not, y'all don't know about this type of drip, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all can't. Words cannot like describe this, how abhorrent you know this is. It's like I'm looking into 2014. Not even 20, like 2012. But I haven't seen someone wear galaxy print since probably about 2013. <laughs> I didn't think it was real until I heard it myself. My doorbell. I can't change my doorbell in my new place. And it's like the goofiest fucking doorbell ever. It's like, ah, 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 ah. It's like clown horns. It, I can't change it. And every time someone new hears it, they just look at me like, are you serious? That's your doorbell. I can't fucking change it. <laughs> you know I had to double. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, if it isn't the consequences of your own actions. <laughs> remember, guys, in this time of hardship and the cost of living crisis and everything, remember to tip your landlords at least 25% of your rent. Fuck! Why does my life feel like Fortnite the way my 
my circle keeps getting smaller. <laughs> my favorite genre of TikTok videos at the moment. Oh, when people just go to like the self checkout bit of a supermarket and just make stupid fucking statements like Tumblr quotes from 2012. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this TikTok. <laughs> I walk around the mall for 10 minutes and get any fucking girl I want. That's a fucking fact. And I'll put what? a hair comb right on the top of my fucking head when I'm walking around. Why is this in you my life? You can't pull that shit, so don't talk to me. <laughs> Why is this in my life? Hey, babe. Okay, so rock, paper, scissors, shoe. And if you win, you get to kiss me. Are you ready? No, I'm good. <laughs> <You're done? laughs> oh, big W. Big W for the guy. Get ready with me, Regency Evening Oh, Silkish. my guy is now snug as a bug in a rug. How can you not have the most delightful night's sleep in that attire? Oh, Matt, I fucking love that. that. Sunny. That looks fucking unreal. I wish it was more acceptable to dress like this in today's society. Imagine rocking up to the club like that. Imagine rock rocking up to prison Birmingham like that. TikTok only gives me views when I show my coasters. That is so sick. I could live happy if I had that in my garden. That is just so satisfying. It's just the sound as well. I'm gonna watch it again. The sound of it. It doesn't complete though, that which is a bit unsatisfying. But just listen to that sound. It is a bit unsatisfying because it doesn't finish. You need to fix that immediately. But oh, that's incredible. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I like this TikTok. I just did. I just quite like this TikTok. The worst people imaginable when they're on a awesome. night out and see a guy with a microphone doing interviews so outside cool. of the club. <laughs> you never see, like, a, actually, to be fair, they probably don't keep in, like, the decent people because that would just be boring to keep in the video. They'll keep in the people that'd be like, oh, I cheated on my boyfriend seven times with his brother and his dad. Men literally used to fight bloody wars to the death and hunt with their bare hands. And women didn't used to have rights. <laughs> What are you trying to say here? <laughs> I fucking hate the thing of like, oh, you look at look at men now. All they do is like make TikTok and cry about their feelings and be gay. Back in the day, they used to get killed in the trenches at the age of 16. God, it was so much better back then. And if they didn't die in the trenches, they'd die of the Spanish flu. God, it was so great back in the day. Fucking shut up. It's Korean Billy. I love Korean Billy. It's bare posh. It's bare dry. Mm. I'm going to go back to my ends and go to get a chicken under Swift Mandarin. Go on, Billy, you do that. Please, I was really depressed today, so I went and blindly bought some records I'd never heard, and this is what I got. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm gonna just kill yourself. Cringiest internet moments, part 44. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is vintage. This is a vintage internet moment. YouTube and face bags had a friend record him walk into a GameStop because he thought the store would go wild over his presence, but no one in the store cared or knew who he was. <laughs> oh, it's so awkward. <laughs> He shows his face, he shows it's like, come on, come on, you know who I am, you know, it's the guy's just like, no. <laughs> Professional Call of Duty athletes. All right, pal. <laughs> you ever you're the host of a house party watching me stare you down as I pray all your cars. <laughs> the cheese tax, the cheese tax. You gotta pay the cheese tax every time you're cooking when the cheese comes uh... out. This puppy comes looking for I first watched this TikTok, I was expecting to see a cute dog and I was like, I sort of recognize that man. I recognize that man a little bit and that's because he always comes up on my for you page because he's always doing like weird stuff. He's always dressing up as like a baby or like uh, just weird, weird stuff. But I was really expecting to see like a dog here because this is a trend where you like feed dogs cheese or, or something. But no, I get greeted with this. Mayhem at the bloody football. Bloody hell. That's, that's a lifetime stadium ban, in my opinion. I find this so amazing. So in Lithuania, to support local tourism, they've made a map with magnets that you can only find in the corresponding cities. 
I, cool. I, I'm going to go to Lithuania and I'm going to collect all the magnets. That is, that's so cool. I don't know why anyone would want to travel all the way around Lithuania. Is there really that much to do in all of Lithuania? That's a really cool way to get people to, because that, that would get me to go around the whole of Lithuania. What? Fade up fourth haircut ever done with no practice tool. Yeah, I can fucking tell. Ah, is this taking the piss? Because if it's not, I feel I feel bad because I'm mocking a kid for trying to do haircuts. But I'm sorry, right? I'm sorry, but come on. Um, this is my dog, Dick, and okay. this is how quick he eats ham. <laughs> Stop jumping off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Mega scranner. Since you got your degree. And you know every fucking thing. <laughs> I fucking hate it when that happens. But I was showing, because believe it or not, I know someone that does not know what happens in Harry. They know nothing about Harry Potter. And we were watching the Half Blood Prince the other day, and they were like, "Oh, uh, does Dumbledore die or something?" Because it was like the bit where they go out to like the the cave bit, and Dumbledore's all like, "Oh, I, I, you got to do what I tell you to do, and you got if 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 I tell you to run, you got to run, Harry." And they're like, "Oh, does Dumbledore die?" And I was like, oh, "No, no." No. Uh, I've got a really good looking mate who's got a really good chance. Do you want me to introduce you? Yeah, go on. Uh, yeah, how old are we getting? Hi, lovely to meet you. That guy's going to be a future MP. I can tell it now just by his accent. I don't like his accent. People with that voice do my fucking head in. Not that I run into many people like that, mine, but you know, on the off occasion I do, like, or I'll be sat in the vicinity of one on a train, I, it does my fucking head in. And all their friends are named like something fucking stupid like Rupert or Albert, do you know what I mean? Like they'll be telling a story about their, their, their chum Rupert. And I don't know what it is, but it just rubs me the wrong way. Oh, excuse me, um, that chip right there just looks like really poisonous. Where is the bus driver? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna answer. That's a great question. Where is the bus driver, huh? Hey, Latvians, did you know that the biggest market in Europe is Riga Central Market? Hello, Mr. America. Thank you. I did not know it. <laughs> we only get internet five weeks ago. This big news, big news. <laughs> Just go up to them, uh -huh. say hello. I am a nice person. Yep. I have never murdered anybody. That, I mean... Do you like a sandwich? <laughs> hello, hello, I've never murdered anyone before. Would you like a sandwich? That's ultimate risk. This is my challenge to you. Try this on someone you're trying to chat up. Try those three lines. Hello, I'm a nice person. I've never murdered anyone. Would you like a sandwich? 99.8% of the time, they're going to say yes. Oh, bro. Hey, quick question, man. Um, You know I can find the other binky binky binky? What? The bing king 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 king. The who? The bing king 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 king. You're a silly goose, bro. <laughs> Some beautiful girls on TikTok. Huh? Really? I mean, look, uh, look at them. Absolutely beautiful. They really are. Okay. It'd be a pleasure to get to meet, uh, meet and do, uh, do coffee and cakes with them or something. Interesting. Well, that's an interesting... Um... Text. I don't know, user 247454781102. That's a really, really interesting message to put out into the world. What other videos have you got? The BBC needs to be f free, independent, neutral, and yeah, factual. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I advise all Borno State Nigerians with British passport, uh, British uh, descendancy, to uh, fly immediately to the United Kingdom and um, claim refugee status. <laughs> What? Oh, yeah. Just looking at the uh, Philadelphia um, Eagles cheerleaders. Aren't they gorgeous? And what, a, and what a good game. What is this man's TikTok account about? He's talking about, like, refugees and then how beautiful the women on TikTok are. Got a question for you, my bro. What is your opinion on Asian girl? Asian uh, you know what? The opinion I've always wanted to hear from people is, what is their opinion on Asian gyal? It's a question I always want to ask people when I first meet them. What is your opinion on Asian gyal? You know, I feel as though maybe it's a bit of a tasteless question, but you know, here on TikTok, <laughs> Wavy K is not afraid to ask the difficult questions. Yeah, man, Asian gyal. Listen, Asian persuasion, you know what I'm saying? Listen, let me tell you something, yeah? The Asians that I've seen personally, Okay. Mm -hmm. they've been a bit, yeah? Yeah, like, what do you mean by that? They've been a bit, you know, they'll give you the, you know, like that. What? The, trust me. 
Uh, you don't know about the, the slop slop 3,000, 10,000. I wish nothing but the worst on this man right here on the right. Nothing but the worst. What an awful answer. He didn't even answer the question. Uh, who am I here with? C1, C1. DK, DK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, C1, C1 on DK, DK. Let's hear, let's hear what you've got to say. Like, these men got a jip. <laughs> He's <laughs> wearing the same top as you. <laughs> Can't lie, these men got a He's dressed the same as you. <laughs> what a legend. I what? Let me say, let me get straight to the question. Yeah, what's your opinions on oh. Asian girls? <laughs> what are you doing with these videos? All right, all right. Are you There's sure? Some very you... strong opinions there. C1, C1. You saying that just for the video? No, they're calm, innit? Saying How about you? What's the question? What's your opinion on Asian girls? I don't mind as long as they're laying in. It. That's what I'm oh. You know what? I agree, DK, DK. I have to agree with you there. Okay, okay. I can't, I can't give this proper. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, what are you doing in the 7-Eleven with your shirt off? Put your shirt back on. Eddie, what are you doing with your shirt outside of 7-Eleven? Put your shirt back on, Eddie. I'm here in the 7-Eleven with my shirt off. I feel great. I lost weight. Oh, well done, Eddie. You lost weight. That's, that, is, that is cause for uh, having your shirt off in 7-Eleven. You've lost weight. Congratulations. <laughs> Hello, mate. Do you play pool? <laughs> life is not a waste of time, and time is not a waste of life. So let's stop wasting time, get wasted, and have the time of our lives. When I tell you, I would run through a wall <laughs> for that. Mate. Same. I love Pitbull. Is he still like touring and making music and stuff? I need to find this out. Pitbull concerts, UK. Pitbull dates and concerts. They're all in the US. That's fine. I will fly over to the US to see Pitbull live. I refuse to believe the people who text or call into radio stations are actually real. Like Tom from Bedford, did you really just text the radio saying, loving the tunes, lads, keep them coming? You're not real. No. And imagine you're in the car with your boyfriend listening to the radio and he's just like, hang on a minute. Minute. Let me give Greg James a text and tell him what I've been up to today. Did you bang your head? Let me have the car right now. <laughs>